make up for it. Uh, that, uh, on the other hand, that uh, uh, perhaps, uh, whether they believe it or not, perhaps uh, just the two men sitting together would have more effect than anybody else because uh, uh, these intermediaries are not going to be very good in this situation. I just say he's not he's not here. He's uh, I'm going to be back Monday, so you ought to talk to him before then. And so he's away and he's not talking from the ranch and he's trying to recuperate. And but I've talked to the better people here who know him and know it very well, and they say that his last conversation was with Nick and Hoover and Hoover took the offensive and sounded like civil liberties lawyer said that he did not want any such authority, he never had wanted it, the Attorney General had given it to him, and that he had tried to carry it out, and that back in February, right after the new administration came in, that they set up a organized crime thing and started going after, sent out instructions to all the tax offices to use electronic equipment and that the Attorney General would designate the men that they wanted. And that he, Hoover, didn't believe in that, didn't want it. And that he, so the President just said, well, if you don't want it, by God, don't do it. And I don't want to catch you doing it in either case unless the Attorney General personally signs it. And uh, that, uh, that's where the President feels, and he hadn't talked to Hoover about it since. And Hoover hadn't consulted him since. And uh, uh, that uh, the the president would like to see it stopped as much as he would, in, in your judgment, and he would do anything that he could uh, to just ease the pain uh, if it didn't create more pain. But uh, he's, he's dealing with fire with this fella, and the only man that could do it probably is uh, to do it directly. That's right, it's for his client to do it directly. Thank you, I'll see you next week. Right, well, while I have you just one quick minute, I, I got Dr. Wallace Graham on the telephone. Good. I just felt uh, bad, and I tried to send him doctors, and I tried to send him uh, aides, and I tried to send him planes, and I tried to send him uh, secret service, and he took them for two or three days and ran them all off. And uh, I just want to be sure that uh, the whole resources of this government are at his disposal, if they're needed. And uh, you just tell Ms. Truman, if there's any specialist or anything they ever need, that they'll be there in an hour if she lets you know or me. I think that might be good if you call her at all Christmas and wish him Christmas. Just say, don't know what your health needs are or what mine, but I was talking to the president the other night, and he said he'd had four operations in one year, and he thanked God that he had the doctors take care of him. And he asked me how President Truman was, and I told him I thought he was doing all right, and he said, well, please, please insist that they know that the best specialist in this nation, wherever they are, any time he wants them, will be there in an hour if you just tell them. Very good. I'll, I'll, I'll do that on Christmas morning and get that message over. Thank you, Clark. You're All mighty right. sweet. I'm awfully grateful I've got a friend like you. All right. Okay. Bye. I'm afraid I'm waiting. Waiting?